Number three on the list is going to go to Undertaker versus Edge from SummerSlam 2008. This had been the previous years, or no, that years, however you say it. It had been that year's uh, WrestleMania 24 main event uh, with Undertaker and Edge going at it in the main event on the big stage of them all. I thought that Edge had one of the greatest WrestleMania entrances of all time, the way all the fireworks lit up this, the, the screen behind him. And um, I thought it was really cool. And, and from there... Undertaker and Edge kept on having matches uh, from Backlash to where basically uh, uh, Undertaker, you know, locked on an illegal uh, submission hold to get the win where Vicky Guerrero stripped him from the championship. Uh, from there, they would go on to have a match at Judgment Day, which was won by Countout, and then the, the title still remained vacant because Vicky Guerrero said that you can't win the, the title on a Countout. From there, they went on to have a a TLC at One Night Stand, which led all the way to the uh, S uh, SummerSlam uh, main event with the Hell in a Cell match. Everybody knows that Undertaker basically, uh, what goes down inside that ring is, is basically his yard. And, and the Hell in a Cell had, had been his match uh, from the, the creation of it. It always sort of seemed that Undertaker sort of fit into that Hell in a Cell um, sort of gimmick. And uh, Edge was sort of the king of the uh, TLC, you know, going back to his days uh, with the Hardys and the Dudleys. Um, and they found a way to sort of mix these matches together, and, and it really paid off, you know. A TLC match held inside the confines of the um, Hell in the Cell uh, structure uh, was very, very cool. Uh, I really love the fact that after, you know, uh, Undertaker had, had take the beaten to Edge, and he'd walked out uh, the champion... Uh, and it was just going to be, you know, there was no doubt in anybody's mind that Undertaker and beat Hedge after Undertaker having to jump through so many ho hoops to finally become champion by beating this guy. Uh, as he was walking up uh, the, the, the ramp uh, to leave, he saw on the Titantron basically that Edge uh, was trying to get up. Uh, Undertaker turned around and saw this as a, a moment of, of weakness, I guess you can say. Went down to the ring and, and finished off Edge by climbing up to the top of the ladder, choke slamming him through the middle of the ring, uh, leaving there was no doubt in anybody's mind that basically Edge was now living in hell and he would be dead uh, to the fact that we weren't going to be seeing Edge for a good while. Number three on the list went to Undertaker and Edge, SummerSlam 2008. A great show with a great main event.